Along with uniformity, we also care very much about how these Kentucky bluegrasses and all our varieties yield for the grower. So we do large seeded increases of each variety where we can again evaluate uniformity, disease pressure and seed production, and seed yield potential. These blocks are all harvested individually and become the breeder seed of each variety. You could see how they're very different for height, color, maturity, and disease resistance. We also evaluate in seed yield trials, and that would be the final step of a variety that we know is good in turf. It also must yield well for our growers. It's very exciting to go out in the morning in the seed yield trials and see the differences between all the varieties, commercial and new experimentals. The differences in maturity in our varieties are very important to us as well because that sometimes indicates better seed yield, less irrigation required by a grower, and even drought tolerance. So we go out and evaluate initial heading dates in the early spring every two to three days. As the season goes on, you can see how some varieties are early, some medium, and some late, along with different plant heights. We also take notes on stem rust and stripe rust in the trials. Kentucky 31 is a forage tall fescue and is very evident in our tall fescue trials. You can see the difference between Kentucky 31, which is a forage type, compared to the turf type tall fescues, which are shorter, darker, and finer bladed types with better seed yields. We like to look at our seed yield trials with irrigation and without, so we get some dry land data anywhere from two to three years of repeat trials that we evaluate, harvest, and glean data from these different species and different plots. We do a lot of work studying heading dates, morphology of the plants where we measure them with rulers in the metric system, as well as harvesting the seed off of each plot, thrashing it, blowing it, cleaning it, and weighing. And then finally analyzing with statistics to see which varieties have significantly better yields for our growers.